It may just be another manic Monday, but alas, it's also Mixology Monday. Gaslight Grill bartender Dennis Comet is here with us. And we're going to have a little bit of fun. We're making what? Making a drunken pumpkin. A drunken pumpkin. Okay, let's get, let's get mixing. All right. Well, first I have to ask you, have you ever heard about the restaurant on the moon? No, I have not. Great food. Educate me. Great food, no atmosphere. Mm-hmm. Great. Oh. Speaking of atmosphere. He, he told me before the show I had to laugh at his jokes. That was a prerequisite Speaking for this segment. Speaking of atmosphere. I love it. At Gaslight Grill, we're a fine steak and uh, fresh seafood mm -hmm. restaurant. So, in honor of the holidays, what we're trying to do is we're uh, doing using a great American bourbon here. Mm -hmm. Buffalo Trace. We've infused it with some cinnamon, nutmeg, cardamom, and clove. And what we're going to do is make what we call a drunken pumpkin. So we take our mixing glass. It sounds like a fun name. People ice. probably just order it just because they want to say, can I have a drunken pumpkin, please? It's definitely <laughs> not a bad name. So this is our infusion, the Buffalo Trace. I don't ounce and a half of that. Perfect. This is a uh, fresh pumpkin puree. Delicious. So very seasonal flavors. Very seasonal flavors really try to capture the essence of the season. Mm -hmm. So give it a little shake. And if, if folks want to make that at home, how do they make that? The pumpkin puree, we just roast some pumpkin. Put it in the blender. We use a little simple syrup, which is half mm -hmm. sugar, half water. Combine that together. So yes. folks at home can make it for Thanksgiving? They can make it for Thanksgiving, and you know, you don't have to necessarily even use it with a drink. You can put it in some hot tea. You could possibly uh, put it in like a... An alcoholic beverage. Yeah, like, a, <laughs> like an apple spiced... Cider, cider thing exactly. ish So that's that. Okay. What we want to do is, we want to top it. This is a little fresh vanilla cream on top. And that looks beautiful. And then we finish it off with a little bit of an orange zest here. Okay. This gives us some oils on the top. Looks delicious. Now you also have some food over here. <laughs> While you zest away, uh, let's talk about the delicious food that you have at Gaslight. Well, like I said, basically we're an American fine steak seafood restaurant. So the first thing you see here we have is our lollipop shrimp. Over here we have the filet au poivre. With the ginormous asparagus. The ginormous asparagus. <laughs> Looks delicious. We order it from the ginormous store. Uh-huh, ginormous store. We have the uh, cra that's our, uh, sesame crab dip. It's kind of like a deconstructed crab rangoon. Mm -hmm. And then what we're highlighting this month is our uh, fried lobster tail. This looks absolutely delicious. How do you eat that? You just dig in. You just dig in. <laughs> try to be graceful about it. As graceful as you can, right. Okay, can I try the drink now? Are Let's you ready? Mmm. So you get a little bit of spice. That is delicious. So you get the bourbon. Perfect. You get the pumpkin, you get the spice. It's a perfect combination. I could drink, I'm gonna take this with me for the rest you of the day. I'm not gonna work on, or you know, drink at work, but this is really too now good you know how to, to pass it. Now you know how to do it. Okay, you have an event coming up. Tell us about that. Basically, on uh, December 4th, we're doing a Silver Oak wine dinner. It's at 7 p.m. Uh, featuring the wines of uh, Silver Oak and Toomey Cellars. Uh, you want to call now because we do have a few spots available, but they're filling up fast. Fantastic. So stop by in uh, Gaslight Grill, and you can make people laugh, make them a great drink, like the drunken, drunken pumpkin. Only if they like good humor and better food. <laughs> Fantastic. Thanks for coming on the show. I appreciate it.